Greetings everyone! Welcome back to our video series on four helpful tips on healthier and more effective communication. In our first video, we talked a little bit about assertiveness. In this video, we'll be talking about our second tip, open-mindedness. Being open-minded is another key factor to healthier and more effective communication. Open-mindedness is a complex combination of skills, and like learning how to be assertive, it takes time and practice. To be open-minded is to be able to set your biases aside and be able to listen and communicate non-judgmentally whether the person you're communicating with shares your opinions and beliefs or not. Being able to listen and communicate with an open mind not only strengthens your ability to convey messages to multiple people, but it helps greatly when dealing with many of your relationships. Was there ever a time where you and another person came to a complete disagreement about something? How did things turn out afterward? Was it a calm, comfortable, or enjoyable conversation? Or did it turn into a heated debate? If so, maybe next time you can try to practice a little open-mindedness instead. Start with taking a deep breath. Try to set your own opinions, beliefs, and biases aside for a moment. This can help you listen non-judgmentally to how the other person feels. In an assertive and respectful way, communicate your feelings as well. It's okay to disagree sometimes. We can still move on and communicate respectfully and healthily with one another. By having an open mind, you can possibly learn more about each other and grow closer in all your relationships. Like assertiveness, open-mindedness takes time and practice and experience. Creating and developing a more open mind can better enhance your personal life and experiences. Some ways to become more open-minded could be easy as learning something new, stepping outside of your comfort zone, talking to someone new that you usually wouldn't really converse with, or learning a new skill, or learning about a different culture. The main thing that you want to remember is that you go at your own pace. Like all these tips and skills, becoming more open-minded doesn't happen overnight. Exploring your horizons and learning about those around you will not only enhance the quality of your relationships, but it could also help level up the quality of your relationships and life experiences as well. In our next video, we'll be talking a little bit about our third tip, empathy. We hope to see you there! Thanks for watching! See you in the next video!